Hey guys, it's Doc, and guess what day it is? It is aeration day. <laughs> Applause, please. We'll be right back. Hold on. Hey guys, it is aeration day, and I'm going to try and make a good aeration video for you because I've seen a lot of aeration videos, and a lot of them are a bunch of junk, so I wanted to make one that was informative, not too long, and actually gave you information that you needed. So here's what I'm going to cover in this video. Number one, I'm gonna cover what size aerator I think you should rent. Number two, I'm gonna show you how to use an aerator real quick. I'm gonna give you some tips on the use of it. I'm gonna show you me aerating my lawn. We're gonna talk about whether you should pick up the little pellets, the little cores that come up or not. That's a topic of discussion that I disagree with a lot. And then, um, what else am I gonna do? Oh, I'll show you cutting my lawn after this, and then I'm gonna talk about real quick liquid aeration, which I also did after this step. So I got a bunch of stuff I'm gonna try and cover for you, so hold on. So uh, click the subscribe button, and then if you wanna to go to our channel next to your subscribe thing on there, it says subscribe, there's a bell, click it, and it'll notify you when this idiot puts out a new video. Got a ton of them coming out, so go ahead and click subscribe. First of all, let's talk about the size of aerator. Uh, unfortunately, I have a penis, so that means that I want the biggest, baddest aerator that's out there. And that's usually what ends up happening. So, but this time I decided to rent the big one. I rented a big 27 inch Ryan aerator. I think it's too much for the majority of people. And um, it's mainly because of the weight situation. You're looking at about a 240 pound aerator. Yes, it's fast, but um, if you don't have a trailer, it takes almost three people to get this thing in and out of a truck. So I don't think that most people should rent this one, um, but I'll tell you the exception to the rule here in a minute. They make a 19 inch, which is perfect for it. They also make models that have water tanks on them so that it adds the weight, but you can empty the water tank for transportation. That makes it a lot easier, but I'm gonna give a big thumbs up, bing, thumbs up to uh, Sunbelt Rentals because their program is pretty simple. One of the nice things about their program is that if you rent it Friday afternoon, you don't have to bring it back till Monday morning and they charge you for one day. So technically this big old rental was about 110 bucks. I did my lawn, I did my neighbor's lawn, and I could have loaned it to two or three other people in the neighborhood to actually do their lawns. So really if we want to do a group community sort of rental, which I suggest you do, you could probably get your whole lawn aerated done if you did it yourself for maybe about 20 bucks. I got some bugs going on here for about 20, 25 bucks each. It's a good thing. Now, if you're gonna rent the big one, you really need a trailer because getting that thing around, it's big, dude, it's 240 pounds. So uh, before I do anything else real quick, let me go ahead and show you how to start this thing. I'm gonna show you how, really how to start this thing, which is basically runs a GX120 Honda engine, and a lot of them do. They either, runs a, they, either, they either run a Briggs and Stratton, or they run the Hondas usually on them. Let me show you how to start this, and let me show you how it functions. So let me go ahead and just show you real quickly how we, this operates. Uh, if you wanna start it, just put the switch to on. They usually have an on-off switch. Make sure that there's a, usually a fuel line on the motor to make sure your fuel is on. Then you, what you're gonna to wanna to do is choke it, and then put your throttle up to high. Throttle on this one is up here. Give it a quick pull, it'll start. Once it warms up, take your choke off of it, that's it. Then what you have is, you have a lift handle and then the engage handle here. This handle actually lowers the tines. So you just lift up on the machine a little bit. And that'll drop it, now the tines are engaged. Then to get the wheels back up, just put the wheels up. This unit comes with side weights, big 20 pound side weights. So it's pretty simple to use. That is this model and a lot of the models are based on the same way. And that's how you run it. Now, I'm going to tell you, let's talk about uh, the function of this thing. I'm going to go ahead and show you some footage right now. Just be careful because if you got the thing on high, you need to be in an area and practice because when you hit that engage switch, these things, a lot of these things will take off fast. It has a pretty, and the only way to change that is through the throttle. So you might want to start on a lower throttle. Next, um, 
I don't think I described it in the video, but you sort of want to push down and get that front roller. There's a big roller on the front. You want to get that front roller a little bit off the ground, and that just puts all the weights on the tines. You don't want to aerate a really, really dry lawn. So if you can sort of look at the weather patterns and say, oh, it's going to rain today and tomorrow, but it's going to be sunny for three days, good time to rent. That's kind of why I rented it right now. So the backyard is done. Uh, let me give you a couple tips I learned. So the morning before you do this, drink about five Gatorades. You're going to get dehydrated and it's kind of dangerous. And I go to the gym five days a week and work out. It's kicked my butt. I'm soaking wet. So, that, and especially that's a big machine, but still, you know, you're working a machine all the way around the yard. And uh, it's hot out here, so. Put on your sunscreen. Very first thing I do that every single morning. Wear a big stupid hat so you look like a geek. Pretty happy with it. Now one tip I am going to try not to run over because it has that big ball on the front. Try not to drive too much once you do this because let me show you what happens. What happens is, is see how the see how I have a nice core here? Well I ran over some of the cores. It's not a big deal but just uh, I want them to dry out. I don't want them to get pushed in here. Uh, one more good tip. I've got a hand aerator that I purchased to do um, a review on. I've got two of them and they're wonderful by the way. So don't worry about getting every single little corner. I'd much rather see you buy one of these hand aerators. You're gonna need it for hot spots anyways. Let me show you. And these are uh, these are hand aerators that you step on. You stick them in the ground, aerate them, they pull out two three inch plugs. Really nice. So you might have seen me skipping over these blocks a lot. I go back in. Like last night I hand punched these holes right in here where I knew I wouldn't be able to get. So I didn't have to worry about it. Areas like right in here, I can go back and hand aerate those. Now because it's a Honda engine, it's real nice. We run, we have actually seven of these GX120s at the shop um, on different pumps that we have. And uh, they're wonderful engines. I mean, it starts fast. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and start it for you just so you can see how easy it is. So I turned it on and I'm just gonna do a six inch little pull here.
So I'm going to show you, uh, I got some footage of me cleaning up my lawnmower and I'll show you that here real quick. But let's talk about whether you leave the cores or pick up the cores. A lot of people say just leave the cores, let them work back in the ground. It's, it's great to rehabilitate your lawn. You're putting minerals and nutrients back in your lawn. Look, I have solid red clay. Matter of fact, I'm going to put a picture up. I have solid red clay. So what am I going to put back on top of my lawn? I'm going to dump clay back on top of my lawn. If I need minerals or nutrients in my lawn, I'll be the one to put it on. Um, I just think it looks ugly, number one. My lawn is healthy. It's very, very thick, so I don't need those pellets, those cores sitting back on my lawn. I don't want to leave them there. I want to clean them up. Next, I'm putting clay back on my lawn, and clay consists of what? It, it, it consists of basically silt and silicates. That's basically what it is. And so I'm dumping that back on top of my lawn? No, I'm not gonna dump that back on top of my lawn. Have you ever laid a fire hose, excuse me, a fire hose. Have you ever left a garden hose on your lawn overnight and you go out in the morning, you move it and there's a big line there sometimes, it's a yellow line? Well, guess what? You got about 100,000 little fire hoses laying on top of your lawn. Lawns like to breathe and they like sunshine. Personally, I put them bagger on. I'm gonna show you that, and uh, and I and I pick them up. Holy crap! <laughs> Anyways, what am I doing now? Surgery time. I'm uh, pre-op. Actually, so again, I'm a firm believer that if you're in clay soils, uh, you do not leave your plugs on the ground. There's not a whole lot of nutrients that are going to be transferred back into the ground. I still got my holes in here, but you can see that almost all my plugs are now gone. There's a little bit remaining on here, but for the most part, again, I cut my grass short. It's almost like rescalping it. And there's a little bit of plugs here and there, but I want to show you. But look at the tractor. See, you're gonna get, it's gonna be a dirty mess. Look at this thing. This thing's just covered in red clay dust. And then, <laughs> hold on. And look at, and this is just nasty stuff. Now this is good material. If you've got any bare spots, you can sprinkle this back out. But for me, I mean, look at my lawn here. I do not need to put anything back out on top of that. I need to open it up. I need holes. I need it to breathe. That's why the hell I aerated it. Morning. It's the next morning. I figured I'd come out and show you. There's, it's actually kind of chilly out here this morning. A little bit of dew all over the ground. I figured I'd show you what it looks like the next morning. Just so you can see it. Oh, by the way. Be careful when you're picking up plugs on the ground. Those are not plugs. That's dog poo. <laughs> I almost picked those up. I was like, where are those plugs out there? So, uh, here we are. Oh. I was wondering if the entire lawn was going to die because I put out a heavy coat of liquid aeration. But, so far, so good. Nothing's dying off yet. So, again... I'm of the, I personally, and you can go with whoever you want, I personally say pick up your plugs if your lawn is healthy, because it looks like crap if you don't. They're really not going to add anything back to your soil that's not already there, and all they're going to do is they're going to add a layer of, um, they're going to add a layer of just crap to it. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to do a separate video. I think I'm going to do a separate video about that, about the reasons why not to leave your plugs on your lawn. Yeah, I worked a lot in golf courses. I did a lot of maintenance, played a lot of golf, worked in greenhouses, and we always pick up plugs. I don't see any benefit from it, to be honest. But you can see, you can see the holes in there. Nice, pretty holes, good aeration. Plus on top of that, I did liquid aeration. Well, that's the only thing that's scaring me is putting out a bunch of that stuff, but 
Looks okay so far. So, I love that blue color that Bermuda gets early in the morning. I did notice something over here though. Look at that. Look at that. What is going on? What the hell is that? Apparently, it looks like a... Uh, I'm thinking that's a fuel leak from when my guy scalped the lawn. I'm gonna teach you how to fix that. That's ugly. Now, one tip I am gonna give you as well too. Um, I'm gonna walk over here. Make sure before you start this, you drink two or three Gatorades and you keep drinking it. It'll dehydrate you. I mean, I go to the gym five days a week. Well, let me tell you what, this will kick your butt. You'll be sore. It's, it's hard work. But I'm really happy with this. I mean, look, this is late April. Look at my lawn. The majority of lawns in our neighborhood are mostly brown with a little bit of green coming up. And you can see what mine looks like now. Again, I have aerated, run my mower with the bags on it, picked up all the pellets. I have actually applied liquid aerator, which I'm going to do a video on coming up. And then after I applied the liquid aerator, I actually went by hand with a hose and wet that down into the soil a little bit too. Hey guys, I hope this video has helped. Subscribe down below and I'll talk to you later, Doc. Yeah.